Hey there, my name is Light Billing, and this is a video tutorial showing you how to use that new toddly do body and HUD. If you're anything like me, you might be a bit confused on how to customize your avatar. I've tried to address some of the questions that pop up when you're new to being a toddly do. We'll go over some of the options in the HUD and a few examples where you may have questions. All right. First, I want you to wear the default shape, body, and alpha included in your new toddly do folder. So, I have my inventory here, the toddly do kid girl, which is what I am, and I have on my alpha, the body, which is body kid, and the body controller HUD. When you have the HUD pop up, it'll be up here in your left hand corner. As you can see, I already have all mine on. Go me. All right. So first up, it's very important. You want to use the default totally do shape. I know it's tempting, but it's very important to wear it. Otherwise, your body is going to be sticking out and you're going to look like you have gorilla shoulders. It's not pretty. Believe me. And besides, you can always change your shape later using the totally do perfect shape included in the note card that Bit made. It's right here in your inventory in the folder. So go ahead and pop that up there. And you're going to want to scroll down until you see the header that's called shaping. So it's right here. Once you're there, you want to just go over here and you're going to find this note card that's called the Toddly Do Perfect Shape Size. What that does is let you customize your shape into the Toddly Do proportions so you can have your face on a Toddly Do body. That's one way to look at it. Also, she included this great link to let you compare your proportions to a real child. So you can portray the age that you want and not have to guesstimate their heights. And it's right here under the note card, idrawdigital.com. All right, you are now on your first step of being a totally do avatar. So, that head that you added, that is the life bed of being a little toddly do. For now, we'll start with the skin. So click the skin button on your head. There you're gonna find a bunch of preloaded skin tones. Click a texture you think that matches your avatar's face. So right now, I'm gonna go to a white texture. Once you click that, a drop down menu will give you a skin based tattoo and you want to make sure that you click allow skin to your avatar. So this is the totally do skin blend base. It's a tattoo and it'll go into my body part folder and allow skin allows the skin to actually be on your avatar. Now you might not get it right the first time and I sure don't want to walk around looking like I have Casper the ghost skin tone. So you need to play around a bit and click on the options. And boom, I'm back to where I was before. Or maybe I need to go with a shade lighter. No, I had it for right the first time. So you want to accept your skin base and allow skin. Once you're done with that, you can close on the HUD right here to make it hide away and clear up your screen. Now, if you want to, you can get way more in depth with your skins, but I've never had to as Bit has included so many shades to match my avatar's skin tone. And that's all in the Totally Do note card. But again, I really wouldn't suggest it if you're just starting out. All right, you're one step closer to being a Totally Do. All right. Up next is the one where we were all like, ah, the first time we ever attempted it, the close option. So go up to your head and click the close button, which I already have mine open. And your avatar should be wearing the default clothing that Bit designed to not leave our toddly butts naked. You can see it on the custom close option. And if you ever find yourself naked again, you can click on the default clothing of the hood and boom, baby, close again. But we want to take our clothes off and put on a new outfit. This is where things can get a little bit tricky, but bear with me. So you click the take off button on your head and a drop down menu is going to appear. I want to take off my default pants with these pink nightmares that I'm wearing. <laughs> Just kidding, I actually like pink. 
going to choose the looser layer. And then, of course, my pants. I don't want to take my shirt off. Choose the pants. And boom, heart undies for the win. Now, say you want to put your default pants back on. You just click the little pants in the custom clothes window again. Choose looser. And it applies it to your totally do body again. All right, you fit a totally do for a hot minute now, and you've bought an outfit. Yay for you! The first thing you want to do is make sure you're wearing the correct size. As a totally do baby or kid, most creators will specify which size by naming the clothing baby or a kid in it. So since I'm a kid totally do, I'll be choosing the kid shirt and right clicking to add. Got a little outfit here I made, and you'll see the baby shirt option and the kid shirt option. And you want to make sure you right click and wear add because if you choose wear, you can actually remove your mesh body and you look like a stretched out baby giraffe. It's not attractive. So we got on the shirt that's a kid size since I'm a kid totally do. You may notice the shirt, it's got a few parts of me poking out of the top of it. See them under my arm here. And this is where your totally do alpha layers are going to come in handy. So you need to click the close button on your HUD. And that's going to open up the alpha layer, which is this black body with the name alpha over top of it. Now, to get a specific part of you to go invisible, you click the corresponding part on this HUD. And there, I'm not sticking out anymore. And see, my shoulders are still poking out. So I can click the shoulder option. A more visible example of this, I'm going to make my little legs here go away. And you can see it just applies the alpha layer to your actual mesh body. So think of it as an alpha texture that's built in. I use this a lot when I'm doing shoes because your little feet are going to stick out all the time. And what a lot of people don't realize is there's actually two alpha layers on your feet. One that's just for your toes and the one that actually covers your feet too. So you can make your feet completely go away. My little stumps here. I need to tiptoe around, don't I? <laughs> And if you want your feet to reappear, notice how they're grayed out on the head. If you click that again and make it go back to solid black, that means your alpha layer is gone and you are complete again. All right, this outfit comes with the head. It's time to play with your clothing options again. So wear the head that the content creator has added for you. Go ahead and add that there and it's going to pop up on your screen. And I'm going to click it. See, I have click to wear written on mine. I'm going to choose looser to get rid of the default pants that I'm currently wearing. And there we go. Clothing layer has been applied to my pants layer. And it looks like I'm wearing a pair of bloody little jeans as I'm a zombie killer. And now you can detach the hood and marvel at your little totally do self. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns that weren't addressed in this video and want to see a future one, just drop me a I am in world. My name is Late Billing. Woohoo! You can also get in contact with the owner of the totally do body, which is Bit McMillan. She's usually pretty good about getting back to you or trying to work out any bugs that you may be applying. Now, number one, you want to make sure that you have your avatar in a region where there's scripts enabled. And you also want to make sure that you're just reading through the note card if you do get stuck. Um, again, I hope this helps. I'm a visual learner. Hopefully it helps just one person. It might be happy. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.